Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming with another giveaway. Last year I started to do giveaway videos and uh, I'm gonna continue today. So I'm gonna pick some package which contains some kind of die. I'm not sure which one. This one. Cutting die, pin flare and those leaves. That's quite beauty beautiful. Here is probably number pin flare creative crafts. So I will put uh, all informations in the description box for those who want to purchase this die. It's brand new. I mean, in my stuff, maybe it's longer time uh, on on the market, and we're gonna create something with this die. So first I'm going to cut out a few of these leaves and I hope future owner will don't mind that I will use that die. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to use old envelope because it's nice and strong and I will color it anyway. So I'm going to use this old envelope and cut a few pieces. Before I will cut out those pieces, I've cut here that part of uh, half of that envelope and I'm using Distress Ink shabby shooters and also distress ink boundlet sage and i'm gonna add the color to this card so i did my cutting and i do have that piece of uh, envelope and i actually like how it looks like <laughs> it's like stencil now here i do have those pieces so i'm gonna take a brush i'm gonna take vintage photo and I'm gonna use this off cut for stenciling the background using the brush because brush is most gentle for any kind of stencils and even this one is not proper stencil. I still hope that it will transfer some of these images nicely. And show me. Oh, I like it. Look at that. It's quite good. So I do have stenciling here. I'm going to use this. Put a glue on my piece. And glue it on the back side of my paper. Yeah, here. So I glued all the background. I'm gonna let it dry this way. <laughs> and first I'm gonna measure this and prepare probably some frame. So I do have base nine by four and a half. Good, I'm gonna let dry this one. So because I do like the, <laughs> this background, I decided to do one more. <laughs> background and I'm gonna I add the glue all over of that page I'm gonna place it down and because I do have that that glue I'm thinking to use actually a clear embossing powder and see what that will do so I do have here clear embossing powder I'm gonna bring some paper I do have paper underneath and well, I will try this way, hopefully. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It will definitely be in the leaves, but uh, it will be probably all around as well. I'm going to take my heating tool. And I will see what that will do. So I hope you will be able to see uh, that it looks like it's frosted. And I really like that look. So I'm going to keep it this way. And now I'm going to build up on it. Before I will do anything else, I'm going to use my nail file. And I'm going to sand all these uh, edges to make it more soft. And I will do it on both sides. So I do have sanded all edges from both sides and I'm going to build up something 
on it. <laughs> I'm gonna take like my helper I just shared with my Patreons. These few images, uh, they are like uh, photo photo frames uh, here with backside. When you fold it, you've got front and back and front and back and here are just like separate uh, frames which you, ca you can use uh, on pages so i'm gonna use one of these and i think i will even use that picture inside so this one i like <laughs> this one the most so i'm gonna cut out uh, that frame so i cut that picture i'm gonna put the glue on the back side and glue it on this cereal box and I'm gonna glue it on this box and once it's dry I'm gonna use my knife and with knife I'm gonna cut out that inside picture right here 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 and here so I'm gonna cut out and I will be left with that rest so I have cut out that inside and I glued again on the other half of this box back that frame and I'm gonna cut the inside and around as well again so that frame will be a little bit more thicker than is this card which I will use as well so I do have a double thickness of my frame and I'm gonna use that nail file and sand the edges again to make it more soft and look uh, worn and vintage so all edges inside of that frame outside as well and also on that card I'm gonna sand this with, with this nail file so <laughs> we got my three pieces I'm gonna pull out my uh, favorite stamps and I will start to put it together I do have just a few stamps right now here I will add them uh, once I will have glued uh, my basis, uh, I just noticed <laughs> that when I cut those uh, panels, I cut the edge here. So for that, uh, I stamped this image uh, that is from Creative Expressions and it is this one, this label. This is Corset de Paris and uh, just, just to show you this amazing number, uh, Paris mode the parisian here journals the board bo ah bro <laughs> broderies you know it does have so many uh so many writing uh those stamps that's why i bought them and uh, they are amazing so i do have that like bro here my explanation is good i guess <laughs> so i'm gonna use this label over the edge to cover my cutting my unlucky cutting I'm gonna put the numbers here and fold that rest around and I used brown paper to add here some kind of you know background color so <clears throat> for this I have used brown paper I've got here also to those tea dyed papers uh, stamped images so because I do have brown paper here I want to have also kind of like you know that opposite way and I do have this uh, small coupon it's from same collection that corset de Paris it's this one so that's what I'm gonna place here on the bottom that will be my base and I thought before that I will put this one somewhere in the top and this one here no 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 I'm gonna place it just in the middle it will be perfect so this I'm gonna place the right on the uh, on the surface it will be on the bottom and that frame I will a little bit popped up that frame to put there some dimension so first this beautiful image and that will sit probably right here a little bit down just a slightly hopefully this way 
I'm thinking this way should be good yes it looks good this way so now I'm going to take my beautiful leaves and I will glue a few leaves on the bottom of my frame and few on the top and this small leaf I'm gonna glue it over the edge right here to that frame right here so it's going from behind but it's going up okay and I'm gonna put one right here yes okay <clears throat> so now I'm gonna take my cards and I'm gonna stamp all kind of all kind of uh, numbers and letters I've got here that fig figure one for that I used also creative expressions stamps those botanical stamps mm, these here is uh, one two three number figure here you can see that yeah now you can see that so I use these three stamps and now I'm gonna use all kind of numbers and probably writing I do have that basic and I want to have some stamping here and probably also on sides so I did just small stamping this is Teresa Collins um, this collection ooh, ooh, ooh. empowerment stamp it looks like this this is Tim Holtz field notes I think everybody knows <laughs> and this one is uh, the, those dates from the past oh, I, I just love these stamps they are uh, designed by Sam Poole she does have amazing design I really check her out I, I love everything she makes creative expressions and I know <laughs> those stamps are sold out on, on Amazon <laughs> I take that so I did these three stamps I do have that recorded from Teresa Collins and I cut out a little bit bigger piece behind which I'm gonna distress with vintage photo like this and the edges I'm gonna do just with black ink so I'm gonna glue this small piece and I'm gonna take two <clears throat> brats so I do have those brats with uh, the screw heads and uh, I think these are uh, I think these are from Dogcraft but I'm not sure if they are because I've got them for a long time so I'm gonna take poking tool and I'm gonna add these brats on my mini panel just somewhere in the middle on total edge and I'm gonna use my distress tool and add there a color and here I'm gonna add I'm gonna use uhu glue so I'm gonna add the uhu glue especially on those brats to make sure they will get glued properly and they will don't slide down like this one and place that <coughs> recorded right here and let it dry and I'm also going to add these brats to the frame here so I will poke the holes and fix those brats to the corners so I do have those uh, screw heads in those corners I'm gonna use this stamp uh, to glue it to the frame before I will put down the frame so this I will glue it to the frame I'm gonna add the glue here 
and just slide it right here and this identification check I'm gonna put on the side on that panel so I'm gonna glue it there now on the back side of this composition frame I'm gonna put double sided tape this foam one so I do have double sided uh, that foam double sided tape all around and I'm gonna just place it over that picture hopefully it will be straight which I don't see yet <laughs> yeah like this like this and because these are too silver I'm gonna use my mixes weathering powder plus a bindex mixed together to this mix and mash uh, these are dark rust and here I do have light rust uh, weathering powders which are using for making uh, or, or you know decorating models uh, painting models so I'm gonna first use dark crust on these screw heads and then I will use that light rust and because it's put together with that bindex it should hold nicely even on that um, on that metal part and it's time to choose uh, another winner from the last video it was uh, on the YouTube uh, the video ah yeah, I, I've got it open for a longer time, but it's that create fluffy string Christmas tree. It was posted second uh, second of December uh, last year, so I already <coughs> copy copy the link here, link of of uh, that video, and I paste it to this random uh, YouTube comment chooser. <laughs> picker not chooser and somewhere here oh yeah so we're gonna start I'm gonna click on it and this will choose one winner from the last time and it's Marilyn Alex Fief Alex Fief and this is her comment so I'm gonna keep it here open to make sure I know who won and I will put down uh, down in the description box below my email. Uh, Marilyn, please contact me on my email address so I can send you the last, e last year uh, creation, including the die. <clears throat> I will also try to find this, uh, this comment and try to contact you with that comment. And I've got here the finished product. I just added... Uh, one of the sleeves I painted with the rust as well. I was kind of missing the rust and I painted with the rust that uh, paper around uh, that stamping as well to add there a little bit more of that rust. The die is already inside so if you want to win this die please leave the comment. Uh, I will come back again with another die and with another video how you can use it i hope you did enjoy this one thank you so so much for jumping in if you wanna win this die including this pocket on it <laughs> please leave the comment i'm gonna also find the oh just bear with me i nearly forgot uh, from that last year uh, that creation on this one it was first comment was there uh, made by Jackie Herman Herman so she will received also gift from me I'm not gonna show what what it will be but she will received also gift from me so uh, this is last year creation including the die inside so for that uh, Marilyn Alexif I hope I'm saying that right Alexif I will put a name down below and also my email and I will try to find that comment. So if you want to win this one, <laughs> please leave the leave the comment. I'm not going <laughs> to repeat that all over, all over again. <laughs> because I already did many times. Thank you so, so much for jumping in. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Uh, I wish you a beautiful day.
Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.